Hello everybody, welcome to Henderson's lineup. Today we're going to show you how to install the new SS403 radius rod kit. On the F53, it fits the 16K through 26K chassis. So over here we have the parts laid out. As you can see, the layout here is similar to the blown up picture in your instructions you'll get with the kit. You'll have the axle brackets with mounting hardware, driver and passenger side. You'll have the frame brackets with mounting hardware, driver and passenger side, along with two rod assemblies, driver and passenger side with their mounting hardware as well. So now that we've checked, all our parts are here. We're gonna go ahead and go into the assembly onto the F53 chassis. The SS403 radius rod kit is designed to eliminate the forward and back movement of this leaf and rubber bushing inside. This excessive movement can cause wander, steering play, slow steering response and it can feel like a constant swaying at the wheel so today we'll start by the front eye of either side you'll want to remove this nut and there's one on driver side and passenger side so that'll be a 21 millimeter for the bolt head and a 15 16 will work on the nut side you want to save this nut because we'll be using it shortly. Once the nut's removed you can start by installing the frame bracket which will mount into the bolt of the leaf spring and you'll have your three-quarter half inch bolt through the hole that is already in the frame above. You want to add Loctite to all your nuts and bolts and torque to the specified torque in the instructions. Just put a little drop of Loctite on each each nut and bolt. So now that we've got the driver side frame bracket installed we'll go ahead and do the same thing over on the passenger side. Again you'll want to apply a little bit of Loctite to the bolt and to the nut. So now that you've got the driver side and the passenger side frame brackets loosely fit, you can go ahead and tighten them up to torque. For the leaf spring bolt, you'll go to 120 foot-pounds. For the frame bolt here, that'll be 75 to 80 foot-pounds. So now they're snugged up with the gun, but always go back and make sure you torque them to the proper torque. Again, 75 to 80 foot-pounds here. All right. So we'll torque these leaf spring bolts back to 120 foot-pounds. There it is. Move on to the other side. Good to go. Next step, we'll want to loosen up all four of the saddle bracket bushings on the front sway bar. When we have all four loose, we'll remove the two on the first side we're going to install the axle bracket onto. So now that we've got the two saddle bracket bolts removed, we can install the axle bracket and the direction of this bend will go to the rear. Again, you'll want to put a dab of Loctite on each bolt before installation. Washer and nut on the back side. So now that we have the driver side axle bracket installed with the bolts left loose, we can go ahead and remove the bolts on the passenger side of the sway bar saddle bracket. Again, you'll want the round part up and the angle towards the rear. Again, 
So now that we've got our axle brackets installed loosely, we can go ahead and tighten them up, snug them up with your gun and uh, wrench, and then go back and torque them to 75 to 80 foot pounds. So we're going now to torque these to 75 to 80 foot pounds. And done. So first thing we want to do when installing the radius rod assembly is to mock it up with the brackets and line up the bolt holes. You may have to unscrew the one end out to line it up and when you get your bolt holes lined up you can put in your hardware that looks a little too far out we'll bring it in okay so that looks good as far as the bolt alignment there and I'll get my hardware and you'll want to sandwich the bushings with your flat washers to protect those bushings. And the radius rods themselves will be installed on the outside of each bracket towards the wheels. And that helps to clear the sway bar in link rod that's coming down. Our radius rod on the outside of the brackets so we clear this sway bar in link coming through here. Same with the front. You want to sandwich the bushing with the flat washers. Always remember a couple drops of Loctite. And we'll just move on to the passenger side and go ahead and get that one on as well. And again you'll want to just mock it up to make sure your bolt holes are going to line up. Sandwich our bushing with the flat washers and ensure the rods are on the outsides of the brackets. That looks pretty good. Beautiful. So now I got the nut and bolts started. I'll go ahead and come in with my gun and snug it up. After I get them all tightened up, I'll go through with a torque wrench and tighten each of these bolts to 120 foot-pounds. Okay. Get the torque wrench on, get these torqued. All right. Good. Last thing we'll want to do is come in here each one of these radius rod assemblies have a locking nut on the adjustable side. We'll get a little bit of Loctite, just a little drop of Loctite in there. And on this one, and secure those nice and tight. Um, as you're finishing up, you just want to make sure and look at all your brackets. Make sure everything's sitting flush on the frame. Make sure your bushings are sandwiched with your flat washers. Ensure that uh, your radius rod is on the outside of the brackets so you have the clearance with the sway bar in link. Okay, so that concludes the installation of the SS403 radius rod kit for the F53 16K to 26K chassis. As always, Henderson's lineup, we wish you safer and happier driving. Until the next video, see you later.